All right, today we got four small things that NBA 2K17 can do to take their shit to the next level. Now, before we even get started, I know for a fact that there's going to be somebody like, I hope he talks about gameplay. Four small things. If you think gameplay is a small thing, you're wrong. <laughs> the first thing, and it's probably the thing that they focused on, unfortunately, is the aesthetics. That's the menu screens, and the card designs, and all of that extra shit, and the graphics. And unfortunately for a lot of games, since a lot of casual people look at that and go, Wow, this game looks neat. That's the focus. That's where the focus goes. But I don't know about y'all, this, this 2K16 design looks I. It's a huge improvement, in my opinion, from 2K14. But from what we've seen so far in this screenshot, I think they're taking things in the right direction. I don't know about y'all, but when I play FIFA or Madden on the EA side, I fucking love their designs it looks so clean and neat and simple and it looks like 2k is adopting a little bit of that in 2k17 anyway we've only seen a couple menu screens so I could only hope the rest of it looks just as clean but I'm gonna make that the number one because psychologically when you see a new menu or a new card design you look at that and you're like wow maybe they did change things even before you get into the game it helps all the casual people understand that changes have been made in the game and that's how 2k makes sales a lot of the people that buy their games are casual fans and so you know doing the graphics and doing and changing this design and that design that's that's how they really entice the people who don't care too much about gameplay by the way how could you not care too much about gameplay to actually buy the game all right now here's where it gets interesting all right okay check this shit out I'm on the, first of all, the fact that we have to go into my career just to play a prom is kind of fucking annoying. But look at this, there's no competitive integration. Sports is naturally fucking competitive. So explain to me why NBA 2K in, I think it was 2K14, they integrated the, the Virgin Gaming. And I used to fucking love that. I used to go in there and bet and win games, make money, etc. And even without the betting, it was just nice to have a platform where everybody there was really good. And the competition was A1. Where did that go? I promise you every fucking time I play Pro-Am, we don't lose. In Pro-Am, we literally try to lose to make things interesting. I want to feel like when I'm playing online that it's competitive. And competitive, I don't mean like I want the other person to cheese and beat me. I just want the other team to be good i want people to play me that are as good as me stop letting these fucking noobs play against and this is too easy and so i want esports integration into nba 2k17 i don't know if you guys follow the whole esports scene whether it's csgo call of duty or any of the other pc games but it's getting bigger and bigger every year games like rainbow six vegas are making a huge fucking push into esports madden has been doing a similar thing recently like people like to play competitive if you and me play the game a lot, right? At some point, aren't you tired of like stomping on news in public matches? Like, don't you want to just find a platform where there's really good people and there's leaderboards and you're like, wow, this is this is competition. Don't you want to feel like I graduated from the D League and I'm in the NBA now? Let me play some real competition. So either add some sort of Virgin Gaming integration or or do something that makes this game more competitive. I'm so, you. I know you guys have dealt with it if you're on the pro am. Pro am is too fucking easy. Part is too easy the stage is too easy the stage is supposed to be the competitive platform where you bet for vc and even that is difficult to lose in come on man come on the next thing is kind of weird man I, I i don't know how this one's gonna fare now listen i play a lot of other games outside of 2k whether it's uncharted i'm planning on getting no man's sky and so i pick up some stuff that all the other games do and in every other game in a storyline they kind of walk you through this is how you do this this is how you do that this is how you do this oh look they're doing it right here endorsements is for your agent dom pegnati <laughs> All right, yeah, okay, way to prove me wrong, 2K. No, but what I'm saying is, you can use your My Career Player in the park and in the Pro-Am. So I don't understand why it's 2016 and we still don't have integration between those modes. Like, there's nothing where even one time a coach is like, hey, you need to practice more, why don't you go to the park? Like, that, that's not difficult. It, it influences people to try out the park who otherwise wouldn't have. Can't we tie in the park to the My Career story? Is it that hard? <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but let's say you play on a high school team. Where are you practicing? Do you guys have an empty facility where you can practice at any time? Likely not. And so where do you go? You go to the fucking park. It's, it's simple. Simple integration. I think Pro-Am 
Prime will be a little bit more difficult to integrate. But all I'm saying is that you have to log in. Log in. You have to go into my career. You have to click on that shit to get into fucking Pro-Am. So why, why do we have to do all of this to get into Pro-Am if Pro-Am has nothing to do with your career? Why? Why? I mean, they smartened up and allowed us to do park. They allowed us to just log in to get into the park without having to do my career this year. But you still have to go into the park before you can go into the stage. What the fuck? This is simple stuff. Okay. Let me relax. Simple stuff, 2K. Fix it. And the last thing, and this is so important, man, is the leaderboards. It's a small thing, but it's so fucking important. Let me tell y'all something. I've been trying my ass off in the last few months to get into the top 500 rank in Uncharted 4. I can't do it, though. I can't fucking do it, but I keep trying because that's what motivates me. Let me show y'all the leaderboards in 2K. Let me go down to Pro-Am because keep in mind, they the park leaderboards are as bare bones as it fucking gets. But let's check out Pro-Am. Where's the lead? Uh, power rankings. Currently ranked 19,000 with my team. Keep in mind, we don't play with my team. We play on Waffle Man's team when we play games. But when 2K first started out, this is the team that we played on. First of all, look at my look at my team name, guys. The Dirk Knight Rises. That's fucking phenomenal. Don't tell don't tell me it isn't. All right. But this is it. This is the whole leaderboards. Is the owner. It doesn't even show any of the people who've played on that team points per game, which can fucking mean anything considering if you're this good. A lot of people quit out of your games, and so you don't have a chance to put up these high point games win percentage all right and wins it doesn't even have your fucking losses in a sport game on the leaderboards how sway this is the entire oh we can go to the western oh look western and eastern and wow that is so crazy pause can we talk about how team over here has eight wins and is in fifth place how sway oh they got europe wow okay so we got different regions but the most bare bones things that you can possibly imagine. Okay, and they got individual stats for people. All right, see, this is good. We need stuff like this, but all they have is points, assists, rebounds, blocks, steals, turnovers. Like, I should be able to see in this leaderboard where I rank, where the next person is, right beside me, right underneath me, right on. I should be able to see this stuff. But let's hop into the park real quick because the park leaderboard is one big joke. My team doesn't even have a leaderboard. They decided to not even deal with that on my team. This is selfish to me. It is literally selfish for them to do this because a part of me is thinking they just they don't want to have to deal with the server issues that leaderboards cause but it's like why don't you just fix your servers and then we won't have to deal with all of this 2k is so this is okay look at least they show us the top three ranked people oh no look look at there's six awesome so for each category we know the top person at least we get my stats this is this is good you know basic stuff here they don't aren't they meant to put the leaderboards up on that Big billboard right there. Oh, there we go. Top rep players of my park. You might be wondering, like, Agent, why do the leaderboards matter so much? I don't know about y'all, but when you're competitive, I would like to know that I'm in the top thousand in NBA 2K16 my park. Now, I don't play the game mode a lot, but hey, if they had a leaderboard, I might have. I'm trying to say that when I'm playing 2K, I want to be able to look at the leaderboards and be like, I am better than you. I am a better 2K player than you. Every time you play with your friends, you're like, yo, I bet I could beat you in 2K. All right, what do you want to put on it? All right, $10. All right, I'll whoop your ass. And then you have beef afterwards because you win the fucking game. It's all about competition. That's what sports is. And so in a game, in a sport game designed around competition, there's no way to rank how you play against the rest of the world. I'm not asking for some crazy advanced stats like how you defend the three-point line relative to the mid-range or relative to eight feet away. Like, relax. We don't need statisticians sitting there marking down everybody's plays. We just need a system. So you're counting the stats. Why don't you just allow us to see it visually? We would like to see it relative to everybody else that plays a game. Is it that difficult? Anyway, those are the four things, small things, I think 2K should implement. It's not that difficult. A lot of this stuff is not that difficult. And I'm going to reiterate because I know there's going to be one person in the comments who doesn't know how to listen. Small things. Not gameplay. Small. They're small things. They're not big. Just small. If they do do this stuff, I think it'd take the game to another level. On some real shit, I think leaderboards alone would make a fucking substantial difference. Then you add in the esports integration, you add in the aesthetics. So we got a little bit of the serious players and the casual players. I'm showing everybody love here. If you guys enjoyed, though, make sure to slap the like button. Let's try and hit like a nice 300. Can we do that? If you guys are new, subscribe for more 2K content. I'll catch y'all in the next one. It's been the double agent you can trust. And uh, I'm going to play some park games right now before I. Uh, before I edit this video. I'm out, y'all. Peace.